Got the goods for you here, man. Trying to get you proficient in your logarithmic manipulation. Uh-huh. And the next thing we're going to do is combine logarithms. Let's go. Some properties of logarithms. The log of a product is the sum of the logs. Yeah. The log of a quotient is the difference of the logs. Yeah. And log of the argument to the r power is r times the log of the argument. Hit this example. Okay. I'm looking at this, man. Sure, here I have the log. The sum of logs is the log of the product. Oh boy, so this is the log of five times two. And I multiply that and that's the log of 10. Oh, that's one of your special logarithms. Special logs? Yeah. Um, if there's no base written, it's log base 10. Your common logarithm, we're on a base 10 system. The natural log, ln, log natural, is really log base e of x. So this is gonna be one, fun. Until you get to this one. I see I have the log of a difference, or the difference of logs. The difference of logs is the log of the product. Okay, log 405 divided by five. Oh no, you might be asking which one gets to become the denominator. This argument goes in the denominator because it has the negative logarithm. Oh boy. So then this is log of, what's 405? Divided by five, that goes in there eight times. Eight and one, 81, fun. And then what? A box, ooh, extra bonus round. What if this had been log base three? Three, three, three. Oh, I can go further. Then this would be log base three of three to the Four, sure. And then that's a special logarithm property. Some general oh. properties of logarithms. Log base b of one is zero every single time. Log base b of b is one every single time. Log base b of b to the x is x every single time. Log base b, ah, b to the log base b of x is x every single time. Oh boy. So then, this is four, sure. And you do a box and a butterfly. Yeah, why the butterfly, you say? Because when you go back and you change something in the beginning of a problem, it sometimes has that butterfly effect. <laughs> Down here, I see I have the difference of logs. But if we flash back to those logarithm properties, some properties of logarithms, the log of a product is the sum of the logs. Yeah. The log of a quotient is the difference of the logs. Yeah. And log of the argument to the r power is r times the log of the argument. We see that we cannot have any numbers in front. That's all right. We can use another special logarithm property. And log of the argument to the r power is r times the log of the argument. To bring those up. Yes. I'm going to bring that there. I'm going to bring that there. So then this is the natural log of x to the fifth minus the natural log of y squared. Some of you guys are like, couldn't I have brought the minus up? Yes, you could have. Then you would have had to have dealt with some of the properties or exponents. Okay, and another video. Um, ooh -wee. you know what? I'll put that right here. Yes. Now I have the difference of logs. That's the log of the quotient. That's the natural log of x to the fifth over y squared. And then, And then you're on to a tough one. Here we see we don't have them isolated, so we can bring them up. Okay, so then this is the natural log of x plus six to the fourth minus the natural log of 
x to the third. Okay, I have the difference of logs. I'm gonna use the log of the quotient. So then this is the natural log of x plus six to the fourth divided by um, x to the third. And you're done! With that flower. Oh boy, uh, toughy. Uh huh. First, I'm gonna take care of the difference of the logs. I could, ooh, ooh, but I'm gonna hold off one moment. This is gonna be the log base four of, ooh, ooh. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is x divided by y. Oh, righty then. And I'm still gonna have the third out front. Plus, let me bring that two up. This is log base three of x minus one squared. But wait, there's more. Let me bring that one third here. This is the log base four of x over y to the third power. Uh-huh. Plus log base three of x minus one squared. Now I have the sum of the logs, but I can't combine them because my bases aren't the same. So I, I like offspring, I gotta keep them separated. But I do like my friend Rudy. So let me go ahead and finish this off with a log base four of the third root of x over y plus log base three x minus one squared. A box and a flag.